going on you guys this is anthony here from finding our adventure today we're on a military surplus day hike we're going to be heading up uh, one of these hills here we're going to be doing some reconnaissance we're on a reconnaissance mission here and uh, we're going to just kind of be checking out the hillside here uh, seeing what we can find with the binoculars and then i've brought enough provisions for uh, one meal so i do have an mre with me along with a usgi cook kit canteen cup etc so we're going to be using some military surplus gear on this day hike i'll show you the gear loadout once we get to our destination but just to show you real quick i do have a 511 tactical rucksack with a couple different attachments to allow me to attach first aid gear uh, radios water all that kind of stuff so uh, so far i'm liking it so we'll see how it holds up Deep. Wait till we get to a fair bit to start yapping again. We're just coming up here, mess around with the kit today. And we're in a, a Gen 3 uh, cold weather fleece jacket. This uh, army. I've got another Gen 3 piece in my backpack that's sort of like a pullover kangaroo pouch it's a marine corps issue so that'll be the standard kit for uh staying warm today and then as far as food and fuel goes i got uh, a usgi surplus canteen kit so that comes with the water bottle and the canteen cup and i've got an ignition source if i want to make some hot water for that i also brought a uh USGI uh, wool blanket so we can sit on that if we need to and uh, a couple other little odds and ends and pieces of kit got a 511 tactical rucksack with uh, some attachments on there it's got my ham radio on top of that so I can uh, make comms got some binoculars all kinds of good stuff and a uh, Delicious Chili Mac MRE. Whew, this hill is steep. I'm also rocking one of the USGI uh, watch caps. This is the uh, olive green, although it is gray. I have all three colors and I love these things. One thing I'll say is these fleeces are really thin. So it breathes really well. I can wear this while I'm hiking uphill. It's not too bad, but the wind does cut through it a little bit. So, oh, very steep going on this terrain. Holy moly. Very steep. Got Saddleback Mountain, Santiago Peak right there in the background, which is really neat. That's the southeast corner there of Rancho Santa Margarita, heading down Antonio Parkway. And then uh, back over this way here, it's gonna take you up to uh, Santiago Canyon, El Toro Road, Cook's Corner, all up over there. So pretty neat little area to get some good views of uh, upper Rancho Santa Margarita and Santiago Peak. Our goal is to make this uh, tower right over here and get some reconnaissance in the shade. Plan will be to uh, tear open the rucksack and uh, utilize some of those uh, calorie rich provisions. And uh, hopefully they're still good, not expired. I didn't actually check. 
but uh, I've got uh, two liters of water with me so we're we're good on hydration All right guys, we've made it to our uh, destination here. This is gonna be our lookout point. And uh, I'm gonna use this because I got a nice uh, cement barrier here that will uh, work for a wind block if I wanna cook some food, um, a barrier for shelter, and it's just nice, nice and dry, something to sit on. So we'll go ahead and unload the pack here and we'll scout from this location and uh, make a nice meal. Go ahead and utilize that. And I don't know how well this is going to work. It is a bit windy up here. There we go. I do love how it says poison on there. That's always nice. We'll be making some coffee with that, so that'll be the end goal. Salute, I'm parched. like freedom. All right, let's try and uh, light this poison stove up. <laughs> so we'll see here. I think something is happening. So let's just stick that on there for now and see if we can't just get this to hang out and do something. 
Now I'll admit this is a little sketchy setup here, but we will give it a whirl and see what happens. Nice. World War II, cook it, going to town. Check it out. Very cool. All right guys, while that's going, go ahead and pull open the uh, MRE here. We've got menu 10 here, chili and macaroni. This thing looks like it's coming stacked. Lemon poppy seed pound cake. That looks really good. <laughs> looks like we got just some assortments. Uh, the chewing gum, always wanted to try that. Bill's Brew freeze dried coffee, awesome. Our heat pack, we'll need that. Our hot brewing bag for the coffee. I'm not gonna use that because I have the canteen. Twizzlers nibs, awesome. I know that's a fan favorite. Spoon, teriyaki beef stick, chili mac and beef, uh, the pouch, serving instructions, beverage powder. This is the chili mac and beef, and holy moly, that's big. That's a heavy pouch right there. The vegetable cracker, awesome. I've always wanted to try that. The uh, infamous cheese spread with jalapeno, which I will not be eating, but I might just try it just for the video. Crushed pepper. So there is a lot of ingredients that come in this. That's freaking rad. There's all the equipment in the MRE. This looks pretty yummy. Let's start with the vegetable cracker and cheese. This thing is like vacuum sealed, man. Crazy. Okay, definitely smells like a cracker. That's a good cracker. I'm not a cheese person. Gotta just give this a whirl. All right, let's give it a whirl. Chase as expected. Like cheese, which I hate. It's got a nice little flavor to it. It's actually not bad. So we're gonna take a look at the uh, freeze-dried coffee. We got some creamer and sugar. I'm not gonna need any of that. Bill's brew. Let's see what Bill's got <clears throat> going on here. Come with a spoon, so we'll just mix that in ever so gently. All right, next is going to be the uh, carbohydrate beverage pouch. We're going to try this, Let's give her a whirl. It smells like orange. ourselves. Alright, all the chunks are gone. <laughs> Salud. Pretty good. citrusy smells like uh, formaldehyde but <laughs> it's great
all afraid of the meats. stale but edible I wouldn't eat the whole thing all right that's enough of that hmm that cracker is worth that holy crap that was good okay next up lemon poppy seed pound cake I'm stoked for this one oh baby Ooh, that smells good. Still pretty soft. No mold on it. That's good. Good start. Oh! Oh! <laughs> mm. That tastes like mom's bacon back home. Oh, and guys, I think our, I believe our coffee here is about done. Backpack is a windbreak here. Let's pull that coffee off. That's about done there. Yeah. Move that off to the side. Get out of there. See if we can toss the lid back on. Get that thing stopped. Get that. All the good coffee grinds in there. All right guys, so we just tried the lemon poppy seed pound cake and it is freaking delicious. I would literally buy these for backpacking trips if they sold these. Mmm. It's 300 calories, so it's got tons of good stuff in here. Try the coffee now. Oh yeah, that's good. If any of you guys watch Suge's YouTube channel, that coffee reminds me of the Maglia Doro Instant Espresso. That's exactly what it tastes like. Oh, that goes so good together. I don't even want to eat the Chili Mac. This is so filling. And so yummy. Twizzlers, I'm just going to leave in the package. I'm not going to eat these. They didn't expire 2021, so <laughs> this meal might be a little old. All right, guys, uh, last but not least, we're going to do the Chili Mac. So we'll go ahead and read the instructions here, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and cook this MRE. for about a minute just to let the water to uh, penetrate the heater. The bag on something like so. And we'll let it sit. It's 330 now. We'll let it sit till about 345. I'm going to enjoy my snack. Drink coffee. It is nice to have a couple different layers, so I do like that like seven layer system the military uses. So I'm just gonna throw on the pullover. This is a Marine Corps pullover, I believe. So this thing's really nice, super comfy. I got a medium, which is a size up for me. So it's got a bigger like kangaroo pouch. And then if I really wanted to, I could just layer this over the top like so. Now you wouldn't normally do this 
but these are just two fleeces that I wanted to buy, so this is what I'm using. So now with that little setup there, with the watch cap, I'm nice and toasty. With the wind, the wind doesn't cut through the, the fleece anymore. So this thing looks like it's going pretty good. Just letting some of the air out. Letting it do its thing, sitting at an angle. And uh, yeah, enjoying my time playing with radios and some old military surplus gear. The reason I uh, bought this stuff initially, to be honest, was um, I kept getting embers on all of my nice um, like backpacking fleeces and jackets that I'd wear outside when I was using my uh, solo stove, a uh, little bonfire pit, the backpacker bonfire pit. And uh, I just wanted something that was relatively cheap that uh, I could buy and I thought, you know, why not get like a surplus jacket? I've always uh, loved military stuff. I always have loved tactical gear. You guys probably know that by now if you were uh, fans of my old <laughs> tactical solutions page. Um, so I thought it'd be, you know, an obvious answer to solve that issue. So I bought these for that and uh, I just kind of went down a little rabbit hole. And here we are now on a surplus day hike. And I know that sounds super lame, but to be honest, I don't care. Um, you know, I'm out here doing what I like to do and this is bringing me enjoyment. So um, yeah, just enjoying my time and enjoying some old surplus gear. And uh, I dig it because it feels good, looks good, and it serves a great purpose, a secondary purpose. So hopefully this meal's done pretty soon so we could give her a taste and kind of see how it goes. Yeah, I'm enjoying the, uh, the day up here. I haven't hiked, honestly, in like, oh God, it's gotta been like two years between COVID, having a kid, working night shift, I mean, hiking and backpacking for me has always been hard because I work the opposite schedule of everyone that I know and backpack with. So it's always hard for me coming off of a shift. You know, if someone's leaving the next day to go on a trip, I have to sleep all day. So that can be kind of frustrating, but, um, you know, hopefully I can try and get on on a trip this year. I'd love to. I do miss backpacking. It's honestly like my favorite thing to do if um, I was only given the option to enjoy one hobby for the rest of my life and I had to get rid of everything else I would probably have to choose backpacking or you know camping of some sort so I do want to get back into it we'll see what the cards hold for me Checking out the towers on top of uh, Santiago Peak from here. Pretty cool. Alright, it's been about uh, 15 minutes. Well, that smells like. Um, that smell like? It smells like Chef Boyardee. Doesn't look particularly yummy, but they never do, from what I understand. Well, we're not here to get full off of this. We're just here to try it. That's not bad. That's honestly not bad at all. Yeah, it's good. Could heat it a little longer for sure. That was probably my own wrongdoing, but pretty decent. Now, from my understanding, you don't actually have to heat these just user discretion. But yeah, that's pretty tasty. Looks like complete garbage, but I mean, that does not look at it. Well, it looks like freaking dog food. Okay. So 
I'm good on that. Really just wanted to get the play of the land. Pretty decent though. If I was hungry, because I'm really not that hungry, I would eat the crap out of that. Not bad at all. Ooh, these heaters. Wow, I have never felt a hand warmer nearly as hot as this thing. That would like burn your skin hot. That is hot. Wow. Okay. Well, I'll tell you that was pretty yummy. All in all. I'm going to finish off with my lemon cake and the rest of my coffee. Mmm. <laughs> if I could buy these surplus lemon cakes, leave a comment down below. Let me know where I will buy these for every backpacking trip I go on. That is delicious. Like, absolutely delicious. And this coffee, you know, normally I drink like Taster's Nasty or Starbucks Instant or, um, I don't know, what do I always do? Uh, the G7 coffee. I think I want to start bringing some Magliadoro again if I go on trips. Kind of get the Shug vibe going. Because it tastes just like it and bring me back, ma'am. Pretty good. I'm really enjoying my time out here. Get away from the kid, get away from the stress of work, life. It's been a rough couple of years, man. Not being able to get out as much as I wanted to. Wow. Last but not least, gotta finish it off with the gum. minty gum. Perfect.
Thanks for coming along on this military surplus day hike up to one of my favorite little spots close to home. It's been another video from Anthony here at Finding Our Adventure. Like, share, and subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you soon on a backpacking adventure.